Welcome to another video. I'm out on the coast this time. I've got a new bag, a new tent, and a few other little bits and pieces that I'm testing out. So I thought I wouldn't I didn't want to walk far because my feet are still a bit blistered from doing the from doing the three peaks. So I've just got a freeze-dried camping meal with me. So I'm going to have Ush, one of my Y Foods. This video is sponsored by Y Foods, so thanks to Y Food for giving you for giving you 10% off if you go in the link below and use Hazy 10 you'll get 10% off this stuff. They do shit, they do it in like in these drinks, they do bars, they do the powdered stuff. It's a complete and balanced ready to drink meal. It's not heavy on your stomach and it contains all the micro and macro nutrients that your body needs. The healthy alternative to junk food. So I'll do one of these and I'm good for up to three to, three to five hours knowing that I've got all the vitamins and minerals in me. So perfect for coming on a hike or perfect for if you're grafting or out and about during the day. Link below for 10% off, use the code HAZY10. Cheers. Let me noggin out at road. Can you see, can you, no. Can you tell? The one by Gossamer Gear. It's light, mate, it's low. <laughs> Needs weighing down, it's light. So this is just my first impressions. I'm not gonna do a review on it or talk you through the specs or anything like that. We're just gonna, cause I've already done a review, have I? If I have, there's the link to the review, the full review of the Gossamer Gear one. He's hopefully there. Please have done that. That'll be good. So yeah, if you want to see the review, go there. It's on my second channel. I'll leave a link below so you can have a look as well. I'm just going to get into it, mate. I'm just going to just going to spend a night in it. <laughs> I'll, let you, I'll let you have a little look. This is about just coming out and uh, the skies are forecast to be good and forecast to get a decent sunset, hopefully a decent sunrise. And that's all I want. It's a midweek, so it's a school night. So I've got to jet off pretty early in the morning because I've got to get to work. I've got a couple of monks and hopefully... I've got a chair. There you are. <laughs> What's this? Just with gear. Alt gear. Richard gear. Alt, Alt Richard no idea. This nature hike chair. I'll leave a link below for this because it is... I was dubious, you know, going into it because I've never really been, been one for, for chairs, for camping chairs. I always thought I'd just sit on deck, but... Having used this extensively at sort of family camping trips, uh, barbecues, just in garden, on camping trips myself, I love it. I absolutely love it. It is good. I like it. So, total luxury. Just going to set my tent up, sit in my chair, ogle that look, and crack a couple of monks. It's a walking pole tent. I've not really checked how tall you're supposed to have poles either, so that's a thing. Right, let's get it set up. Oosh. Oosh. There she is, Regarde. The Gossam the Gossamer Gear one. <laughs> Got a little bit of a slope, but that's just you you play with the you know you have to You have to use what you've got. Use what you've got and I've got a slope a bit, so I've got it all mucky already. Got to be used, and it? Used. Used and abused and reviewed. <laughs> right. So I'll just give you a quick tour. It's a walking pole tent. It's got these things here to cinch it down to your walking pole, which is pretty nice. These go on an angle outwards. This, there's no door here, but there's also, it's like, all mesh up there so it's going to be great for condensation it's just got this lip to protect the mesh and then all this is waterproof so a lot of airflow going in there's my chair look let's have a look at you ah, look at that <laughs> there. not bad is it chair look what have i we've made it boys we've made it and girls we've got a chair Look, I've made it. Thanks for all the support, we've made it. We've got a chair, look. <laughs> well happy in the chair. I never thought I'd be this happy in the chair, look at it. I've used an extra guy line there and just tied it round a rock just to, because that's the head end, just to give me a bit more room. And then here's inside, it's quite, <clears throat> it's quite big. From my setup, I've just got my sleeping bag, which is the Alpkit 400. And I'm not even going with an airbed. I brought it, but when you're on heather like this, look at that, that's an airbed in itself. So I'm just using this really thin 
sponge just to protect the, f the bed of this mainly because it is ever so thin that's probably why it's so light the trachology pillow still going well and let's have a look shall we let's get in Whoa. yeah it's comfortable without an airbed loads of that's not, I'm not even in the middle there I'm seven foot four I'm seven foot four, built like a fire engine. And that, look at that, I've got loads of room up there. Absolutely loads, I've got about a foot. So you, you, you're you good for space there. And it's very, it's wide because it's got this, it angles out like that. So it is a double trekking pole tent, same as the Lanshan 2. And the reason I got it is because the land, I'm going on a, a camp where, I'm going on a trek where I might have to be a little bit stealth and the Lanshan 2's footprint is just too big. So I was wanting something a little bit less big, but the Lanshan 1 is like a coffin. It's too claustrophobic, so I searched, and this was like the perfect medium, the perfect in-between. And so far, so far, so good. Oh yeah, I've got a new tattoo off uh, my boy, Bren. Quality artist. It's in like a graffiti style, three peaks, and some mushrooms on it. And, it, and uh, he did such a good job, mate, and... Uh, I'd love it if you went and followed him on Instagram, so I'm going to leave a link to his Instagram page. If you like um, like tattoo art and graffiti style art, he's definitely worth a follow, so I'll leave his link below. Go check him out. Cheers, Bren. Gentle Bren. <laughs> Been doing some more bare, ouch, barefoot stuff, and um, <laughs> my feet are a little bit blistered, to say the least. <laughs> he's on lowers, mate. He's on... What do you call them lower? I don't know. Lower. Lower renegade, lower renegade. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Very good boot. That's main. That's headlines. Very good boot. Very good boot. Jose Mourinho wool layer. <laughs> Tails from chair. Chairway to heaven. Let's get the hat on. Come on. If we're going to be in Yorkshire, we're going to be on chair. We're going to have hat on, aren't we? Should we get woolly hat on, actually? Because lugs are a bit cord. Join me for another episode. Join me for the first episode ever of Tales from the Chair. Because get used to these. Because it's comfy, mate. And I like it. There you go, look. Look at this. How far we've come. Huh? It's all right. I won't, it won't change me. I'm still down to earth. I'm still the, I'm still the people's champion. I'm still a working class legend. <laughs> I'm, I'm still a working class hero, lads. Don't worry about it. And lassies. Twelve of you. Look at this. Would you believe it? Ron Seal. Now the monk have teamed up with Ron Seal. <laughs> Does exactly what it says on the tin. Medium oak medium oak four percent best bitter perfect finished every time no nonsense product it is what it is and all that I don't know it's not supposed to taste like Ron Seal I just think because they're a local business and no the monk are just kooky like that they work with all sorts of weird and wonderful companies and people I remember coming out on these cliffs for a few miles that way or whatever many moons ago and saying oh I don't want to be a role model because some people who were complaining that I was just drinking too much on me on my videos and that and I was like oh, I don't want to be a role model I just want to enjoy a bottle of wine when I go camping and all that sort of stuff and so it, it cracked on I didn't really think about it until until I was at the bushcraft show recently and the amount of young'uns that came up like young lads young lasses Saying they watch my videos and that, and uh, with the with the dads and the mums, and I realised that it has to. You can't. It's too late in it now. There's too many people watching for me to just be, uh, you know, be pissed on camera, slugging bottles of <laughs> vino and that all the time. So we're gonna, re you know, yeah. It did make me think. There's a. It's got beyond. It's out of my control now. So whether I like it or not. I'm a role model to a couple of people and that's a couple of little people 
and I have to take that responsibility, and I so they can't be that much slurping. <laughs> but well, he says they are little ones. I can't think of a more dad thing to do than have a Ron Seal Best Bitter by Northern Monk. Are we then? For you little ones, if you don't know, this is a disposable barbecue. Shout out Joey D. Oh, oh, that's oh. Do you know what? In the best possible way, that taste that tastes like the do you know the like the beer mats, not the little beer mats, the bit like the towely ones that you you have on bar in a good working man's club. The smell of them is the same as that. Not in a bad way. It smells delicious. It's like sweet and oh, that good old beer flavour, almost like shandy. What's it look like? Oh yeah, nice and amber, right? Soz little ones. What? You ignore this bit. Or oh, get a fruit shoot and do a fruit shoot review. Umbongo review or something. Ooh, that's. Do you know what? That's the first time I've had a northern monk that's tasted like that. That's not. It does exactly what it says on tin. It's bitter, it's a best bitter. I can imagine that on draft being absolutely banging. They can do it all, can't they? They can do it all. Whoa. <coughs> that is nice. Mmm. Do you know what? If you take, it's a little bit carbonated, but if you took a little bit of that carbonation out, made it a bit smoother, You'd be on to a right pint there. That's wonderful, 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 wonderful. I'm not going to bang on about it because that's not we're not a we're not a booze review channel anymore, are we? We've grown up. <coughs> I'll take. Well, I can't wait to take the camera off and get stuck into the rest of them, mate. Got some right beauties, and at four percent as well. So it's not going to. I think I'll give that. I'm going to give that an eight point six out of ten. <laughs> in chair, who does he think he is? With tights on. I'm just in a chair with tights on, reviewing beers on me Todd, whilst filming it on a cliff. That's the bottom line, because Stone Cold says so. What I love is as well is all the seagulls come around at this time of night. Look, can, can you see them in the background? You probably won't be able to because they're ever so small. But they cut such a fantastic silhouette. Just like when you used to draw them little M's. <laughs> this is good, yeah, look at this. Look at this, kid. You having that? Just always like to, I always like to just say hello. And how are you doing? And have a little chat to you. Cause I was ill on my last video. I was very poorly, I mean, nogging. Just wasn't in right place. Uh, life stuff, which we can't go on about on a video, but just life stuff. <sighs> Feel a lot calmer today. Feel a lot better. Uh, and it's nice because I'm by the sea. But yeah, it's good times, man. I've just let my son go to shit a bit with <laughs> during lockdown, like. My old body and mind and everything just. Sort of played second fiddle at, I don't know. There was moments in lockdown where everything was just a bit much like, and and I was always thinking, ah, oh, well, it's lockdown, innit? I don't have to look after myself because it's lockdown. And that just carried on. And now that I've come out of lockdown, I'm like, I look down, I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> lockdown. Can't even look down. Can't see me when <laughs> Like that, full dad bod mode. Battery went. Just as I was about to tell you about my tits, battery went. <laughs> yeah, that's all that's going on, mate, is that come out of lockdown with a set of set of teats, bit of a kite on me. Um, and I've just started to turn a corner, just started to look after myself a little bit more and practice what I preach, because I'm, you know, I've got this mantra that I, I go by about, you know, looking after your body and your mind and all this sort of stuff. And sometimes I forget or, Sometimes I just don't want myself to feel good, which sounds mad, 
but sometimes I'm my own worst enemy and I sort of want to sabotage myself for some reason. But I've got over that now. We've I've turned a corner and um, we're gonna get healthy. We're gonna get we're gonna get healthy and we're gonna get regain out regain our summer bodies for next summer. And join me. I'll be doing little progress reports. I'm gonna fully uh, fully go for it. I have been going for it, but I'm gonna continue to go for it on the old healthy healthy body healthy mind regime. I'll be out in woods camping then I'll just cut to a montage of me punching a load of like meat in a locker, lock up, whatever. Just, just cut to me just punching a load of meat in my lock up at work. Just meat, not, not like because I can't afford actual carcasses but just like maybe, I don't know, like a turkey twizzler on a stick or something like that just, <laughs> or a pepper, pepperoni or something, pepperami. Or a pepper army, or just some wafer thin ham. Rocky Bell about cheap budget Rocky with wafer thin ham. <laughs> oh, that's I want me on about anyway. Yeah, so that was all I was going to say. Just in case anyone else has let themselves slide during lockdown and uh, wanted to feel a little bit less bad about it, your boy, you're the same boat as your boy. <laughs> Cut to me just getting even fatter, just completely, just start a gaming channel. Because I love my chairs, you see, so. That's the natural progression, isn't it? Just to get a gaming channel like that. Grand Theft Auto. Just biscuits all over me. Yes, mate. Much love, mate. Much love. Yeah. Knuckles. Covid. Uh, there you go. Right, I'm going to log off for chatting for this evening because I'm going to have a few beverages and then it all goes teats up, doesn't it? Can't really... Uh, not really very eloquent when I've had a few bevs. Cheers to you lot. Cheers to absent friends. Cue music. Got my lighter, didn't I? Because I've just swatched, switched bags over, and in my other bag, I like to stash a load of lighters around it and that, and I've, I haven't done with this one. So, <laughs> without a lighter, second time I've ever done this. So, I can't even have my food, I can't have my tea. So, 
I just stuck with that one beer. I didn't even have any other beers because I didn't want to be just drinking on an empty stomach. So I've had to sack them off and sack my tea off. <laughs> I just sat out there and just watched the moon. It was a lovely moon. It was a harvest moon. So I watched that come out of the sea. It was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm really hungry now. And I, don't, I can't have any food. I don't have any snacks. I just brought a, a camping meal that I can't have. <laughs> oh, well. Say la vie. Say la vie. It'll probably do me good. Anyway, um, yeah, it's getting on a bit now, so I'm just going to get my head down, get some sleep, and then we'll get up in the morning. I can't even have a brilliant morning. Wounded. Well, hopefully we'll get a sunrise to make up for it all. And then, uh, yeah. All right. So unless something magic or tragic happens, I shall see thee on the morrow. Oh, we got a to come out. It's collapsing in on me. Oh. I've woke up to this. Houston, I've got to get out. I've got to get out and do the guy lines again. Ah. Don't panic, Mr. Mannering. Shoot. The wind was savage. It just came in savage, proper savaged me. Um, it took out my guy line on this side, and then house of cards just fell down. One came out, two came out, all started to fold in on itself. But I've repositioned the pegs, I've put rocks on top of the pegs as well big rocks, so it ain't gonna go anywhere. I feel safe. Uh, yeah man, big big wind, so take two. That was something tragic happened. Finally. Here we are look, something tragic did happen. Right. Unless some much magic or tragic part two happens, I shall see thee on the morrow. It's just it's getting under the tent and blowing it up so it's vibrating so I just can't sleep. It's the only time in recent well ever. I think that if I was any nearer to my truck, I'd sack this off. It's one of them ones, in it? Oh, dear me. We'll have to ride it out and then it'll be good tomorrow. It'll make me appreciate stuff more. It's too exposed. The uh, tent's getting its ass kicked. It's too much. So, oh mate, I'm gonna pack up. Batteries running out of torch. I'm gonna pack up my tent and uh, and drop down the side of this hill and try and get out of the wind a bit and then re-pitch it. So I'll get back at you. Can you see, can you hear how calm it is down here? I'm just tucked right behind that. Uh, that big bit that I was on. I've come down, down this side, the wind's lapping at the other side, but we're sort of out of it here, so. Whew. Probably be able to get some kip, but that was exciting. That was exciting to say the least. Thought tent was gonna end up at North Sea. That would have sucked. But we made it, we made it down. That was an adventure. And this tent is, at least I know I can take it down and put it up in an emergency. And it went up pretty quick and went down pretty quick as well. Unless something mad or trage happens again, I'll see you on the morrow. Cause when you travel light, some things are left behind. The end of the world at the palm of my hand When it all goes to hell, will you 
Lampers. I managed to get a slack handful of hours kip there, so not too bad. The tent report. Look at this. No condensation whatsoever. And that's right above my head. It was a bit of a breezy night to say the least, so that's probably helped. But the ventilation is brilliant. I can say that. I had my little sponge just in case it did get wet, but I'm impressed with that. I had to inflate, I had to tap out and inflate my uh, inflatable bed because this new spot that I'm at, there's not as much heather on the ground, so it wasn't as spongy. It was quite rocky, so I had to deploy that. Let's see what's, uh, let's see what's guarding outside. It's about half six in the morning. There'll be no messing about, there'll be no coffee because that'll be lighter. <laughs> but there'll be no messing about it either because we've got to get uh, it is a work day, a school day. <sighs> oh, yes. As you can see, I put rocks on all my pegs. Belt and breeches, sunshine. Where's the sunshine? There she is. Lovely morning, man. Lovely morning. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't she look well? Whew. Tell you what, in the night that was stressful moving moving from up there in that wind, but now I feel calm. I've had a couple of hours keep and we're good to go. Beautiful. And get her packed up. There you go. Easy stuff sack. Easy to pack away. Easy life. Leave no trace. Right, there we go. There we go. What have we learned? I've learned that the bag, I love it. The tent, I love it. I'm not gonna speak on them and give you my full opinions just yet. I'm gonna wait until I've had a proper look round them and, and I'll do a proper review, which will already be out now, I'll have done it, I think. What did I learn? I learned that, don't think you're the big peanut. Top peanut because I had my chair, didn't I? Thinking I was uh, lording it with chair when in reality I didn't have my lighter, I didn't have my earplugs, and the winds were gathering. And I was just sat there. Barry Big Nut in chair like that. <laughs> now you're not entertained. Meanwhile, I forgot all sorts. So for me, Lesson, my main lesson is, don't think you're bigger than the floor, mate. Don't think you're bigger than the floor. Don't put all your energy into sitting on the chair. And the floor's perfectly fine. So we've learned a lesson there about chairs. There's probably a metaphor to be had there as well. Um, so yeah, I didn't, get, I didn't manage to have any food or any drink, any hot drinks or anything like that, which in turn made me not have my beers and I, I feel chipper today, I feel great, so it's kind of worked out for the best. I feel good about it. And it's a lovely day, it's a school day, so I'll best get me sent to school, aka work. If you've watched this far, thanks. If you aren't subscribed already, consider uh, clicking the, subs the subscribe button and click the bell notification if you want to get notified of my next video. Sailboat, he's out early. Good man, lass, woman, whatever. Right. 
much love to everyone i hope you're looking after yourselves and each other i'll see you soon namaste out of trouble see you later